Aloha! In this short video, Peter is going to show you how to install a set of egghead tuners onto a tenor size Pohaku ukulele that he is working on. You'll love these tuners. And this instructional video is sweet. Let's go into the workshop for a lesson. The steps I take to install these peghead tuners is to start by drilling a shallow relief hole on the back side. Then I'll through drill with a smaller bit, ream the hole, and install the peg. I'll start by drilling the shallow relief hole on the back of the peg head using a 9mm bit. I'll adjust my drill press speed to about 600 RPM. Clamp the peg head down firmly. I already have four small pilot holes drilled, which will locate where I am going to drill the four tuner holes. And I'll drill this 9mm hole down to somewhere around 60 thousandths. This will make a little pocket for the back of the tuner to sit into. There, that's close enough. Now, without unclamping the neck, I'll switch from the 9mm bit and I'll go down to a 7mm drill bit. I'm using Brad Point Twist Drill Bits. And with the 7mm bit, I'll be drilling halfway through the peg head from the back side. If I drill all the way through in one step, I'll risk tearing out the wood on the face of the peg head. So once I'm halfway through, I'll flip it over and complete drilling the 7mm hole. And now, with the 7mm through hole and 9mm recessed hole complete, it's time for the next step, which will be reaming the hole. A set of four peg head tuners will have two normally threaded tuners and two reverse or left hand threaded tuners. To tell which peg is which, put your fingernail on a thread, rotate it clockwise, and if the peg moves out from your fingernail, it's a left hand thread, and if the peg drives down into your fingernail, it's right hand or normally threaded. The right hand threaded tuners install into the treble side of the instrument and the left or reverse threaded pegs will install into the bass side. You'll need a two degree tapered violin reamer for this next step. I clamp the neck into a vise so I can keep the reamer square and perpendicular to the work. And you'll want to ream slowly and creep up to your final hole size in a couple of steps. You'll want to initially ream until about a third of the threaded part of the peg will easily fit into the hole. And you'll also want to take off the brittle ivory buttons so you don't break them as you wind the tuners in with a pair of pliers. For pliers, I use a pair of 7-inch rib joint pliers with thick leather pads to protect the tuners. And you want to tighten the peg firmly, but not too firmly. Don't be breaking nothing here. When installed correctly, the nose of the peg will protrude out of the face side of the peg head, and the rear barrel of the tuning peg will just nestle into the recessed 9mm hole that we drilled. This peg isn't in quite far enough, which is okay. It generally takes a couple of tries to creep up to the correct depth. Take your time, because it's easy to make a small hole bigger, but it's wicked hard to make a big hole smaller. It's correct when the rounded nose is poking out of the front and the barrel on the back side of the peg is just sitting a little bit below deck. It should look pretty much like... Hmm, it should look pretty much like... It should look pretty much like this. And like this. That peg is excellent. We're happy with that one. Three more holes to go. Complete the instrument, apply the lacquer finish, and I'll get back to you in about three weeks. Three weeks later... With a finished instrument, you'll want to clean any overspray out of the peg holes, and importantly, you'll want to remove the lacquer from the edges of the holes. Chamfer lightly with an X-Acto knife to remove that lacquer edge, because as you wind the pegs into the holes, if they contact the lacquer, the finish will not compress. It will lift and raise, and no one will be happy. But when you are happy with your cleanup job, brush out the holes, brush off the pegs, apply a dot of glue onto the threads, and firmly tighten them into place. 
Watch the lacquer finish carefully as you're screwing in the pegs and trim more with an X-Acto knife if, if needed. Install all four pegs and you are done. Sweet. 